Right. Coach, we saw an exciting game over the weekend. It was a positive start for the team, getting the three points, keeping the clean sheet, and also getting two goals. Can you say, or maybe can you comment on that statement that I've just made? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it was uh, a very satisfactory display by our, our, our team. And uh, it was very important for us to start on a good note. And for the fact that we are playing a formidable team like the Hopo, which always gives us, you know, tough, Matches, so I think uh, our guys uh, did well, did well in, in terms of going forward as as a team. And maybe judging from the performance we saw on Saturday, can you say are you happy with the arrangements during the preseason? Yeah, the, the arrangements in terms of our preparation. Yeah. Yes. The yes. Uh, we were, as a technical team, we were happy with the way things went. And uh, in some of the things that we did during the preseason, you could see the end result in our, our, our game uh, on Saturday. Yes. And maybe just crossing over to the right place. Uh, is your team done in the transfer market or are we likely to see more signings? Uh, we, we hope we might get one more in um, before it closes tomorrow, but it, we're still, it's still one that we're working on um, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tight now. Um, you know, so whether we get it done in time or not, I'm not, not, not too sure. But if, if things go well, then hopefully one more uh, before the end of tomorrow and then we'll be done. Okay. Maybe still on the signings. Earlier this, I think earlier before the end of the season, or maybe soon after the end of the first season, you announced the signing of Boca or the promotion of Boca from the development team. Yeah, no, we, we identified him as a player we were going to promote, a uh, very promising young player, but he got a, a schooling opportunity in, in I think it was Blue, in Blue Fontaine. So obviously, that's a great opportunity for him to go and. Uh, and study and, and enhance his academic career, so we didn't want to stand in his way. So he's going to do that, and yeah, unfortunately, won't be with the team this season. Okay. And coach, just moving forward to the next game, we would not be playing this weekend, but we're playing the next weekend against the Premier League rookies, productive warriors. Uh, any special approach to the game? Are you going to apply any special approach? No, we just have to play to our best. Uh, we have to double the effort because my expectation from our players is each match they should just take it as a final. You know, they should always respect the opponents, but seem to it that they put in that effort that it's expected of them. So, and I, I, I believe that at the present moment, we can say they look to, they look sharp, our boys, they look you know, hungrier. So if they could just be consistent in their game, I think we will get there. And I take it there is pressure or lots of expectations from your team, maybe from the outside people. Uh, how is that affecting your players or you as a manager of the team, the, the team's coach? No, the pressure will always be there. Uh, but I believe uh, myself and uh, the, the, the rest of the technical staff, we have managed to, you know, to keep the guys, you know, focused. They are focused. They are not actually playing under pressure at all because we are a very small team that is growing, which is good, uh, ambitious, but we, we're just taking one game at a time.
like we said, it's going to be short and brief. I think that's all it was. But any, 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 any more from you guys? Maybe you can just make a few additions. No, I think it, 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 it's, it's very important that we see it here that we are consistent. Each and every player should fight for the place. You know, we have had some new signings coming in, but the thing is, the, 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 the spaces are not just are not there for, for you know. Everyone has to work hard, and which if the competition is healthy in our team, it gives us an edge, you know, to, to do better against the uh, opponents. So it's it's. It's looking good, really. And the way they have uh, uh, behaved in terms of working, their working ethics, you know, they have improved because we, we actually agreed with them that you know, the performance of last season is something that we can look back and learn from it. But now we're starting on a clean slate so everyone is expected to double the effort uh, in terms of uh, working as a group, as an individual. And so far, yes, of course, it's still early, but everything looks positive. Maybe just, uh, I don't know if you could answer this, in just 30 seconds. Going forward with the new signings, were you happy on how they performed? I mean, seriously, I can't. Yes, I was happy because it was always going to be difficult for them playing against their former team. You know, the pressure of playing against their former team. But uh, I think they they conducted themselves very really well. Uh, they looked they looked sharp. You know, they, they they conducted themselves in a very very good way. You know, so I was very happy for them. And did they please anything? No, I think just you know we saw um, saw the weekend. I think was was a reflection on how our preseason was, and that's full credit to the the technical team. Uh, their preparations obviously were very good. That we look strong, we look fit, um, and then I think that that's a real reflection on all the work they they did as a technical team and the players as well over preseason to make sure they were ready to get off to a good start. So, other than that, just looking forward to. Uh, to the registration period ending tomorrow, and can open a bottle of wine and relax for the rest of the season. Then leave it to these guys. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs>